Well, I'm now joined by Rory Challens. He is following developments for us from Kiev. Rory, as we're seeing this Ukrainian push continue, we are also seeing some perceived retaliation from Moscow. Yes, and again, it's the civilians of the city of Zaporizhia uh, that seem to be experiencing the worst of, of Russia's rage. The city has been pounded repeatedly over recent days by Russian airstrikes and missile strikes. It, it's indiscriminate at best. At worst, it seems intentional. That's how most Ukrainians interpret it, is why they describe Russia as a terrorist state. Uh, and last night, again, there were strikes on civilian targets, it seems, with uh, a high-rise building uh, being hit, many houses being hit. The death toll, as we understand it at the moment, is 17. Uh, five houses destroyed, 40 damaged. The uh, authorities in Zaporizhia city say that the Russian aeroplanes launched at least 12 missiles uh, at the city. Now, is that retaliation? It's, you know, you can't look into the minds of, of the Russian military and say for sure at the moment, but certainly uh, the Russians are smarting after the attack on the Kerch Bridge yesterday, an attack for which the, the Ukrainians still have not uh, explicitly said they were responsible. Lots more insinuation today, lots more hints. In his uh, ad addre video address to the nation last night, uh, President Zelensky framed it as a weather report, uh, saying that over most of Ukraine, uh, conditions were good and sunny, but over Crimea, it was a bit cloudy. <laughs> Rory Challens there, following developments from Kiev for us. Thank you so much, Rory.